Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. I can say no thank you we say say as a need to prove her saying a thing somewhere all the way I guess you can under my skin Hey guys it's Anna and welcome back to another video of mine and today's video is going to be a DIY tie-dye video. Hey guys, it's Anna um, from the future. <laughs> it's editing Anna. Um, but I'm just here to say that this video was filmed a few weeks back, so I didn't address anything about Black Lives Matter, but links will be down below to fund for racial justice and to sign petitions. So please take some please take some time out of your day to sign it because even just a few minutes out of your day will change the world. Yeah, and 10% of all my Depop shop proceeds will be donated to the NAACP as well as Black Lives Matter. Just be positive and stay kind and yeah. And yeah, back to regular broadcasting. So basically all the materials that you'll be needing, a tie-dye kit, of course. Um, I got mine from Walmart and I'm pretty sure you can just buy it on Amazon or something. Some gloves optionally, rubber bands, and of course your white things that you want to be dyeing. Basically you can choose whatever design you'd like. You can do the spiral effect or the splatter or like there's just multiple different ones that you can look online. I'll link a couple of video options here but I decided to do the crinkle effect. All you have to do is just wet your shirt first so that it's nice and damp. This way the ink can actually adhere onto the fabric and then you're just going to crinkle it up or do whatever design you want and I just basically crinkled it up and did little blobs. Also the color the color will be way lighter once it dries so I do suggest that you grab a little test piece and put a little bit of the dye on there first just to make sure you like the way it looks once it's dry. And then just grab your rubber band and tie it together so that it's just all one piece and it just makes it a lot easier. And then now you're just going to grab your dye and just go ahead and go ham. So then you just want to go ahead and make sure that you saturate everything. But yeah, so then you just want to let it sit for at least 8 to 12 hours and then you can let it sit for longer if you want it to be darker. I think I let mine sit overnight for like 18 hours so it did come out pretty pigmented but that's optional. And then just go ahead and wash it out with warm water until the water runs clear. And then that's basically it. Just go ahead and throw it in the wash and for washing instructions, basically it's just warm water and you want to wash it with nothing else, so just alone the first time or the first few times because you don't really want it to be dyeing the rest of your clothes unless that's what you want, then you do you. <laughs> and that's basically it. So now just go ahead and dye every other white thing in your house. Okay, so this is my outfit for the day. Um, and this is how it looks. And yeah, I've just paired it with this pink skirt that I did make myself. And then this tank, which is from my YesStyle haul. And then here is how it looks. 
<clears throat> so basically that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and share with family and friends and um I've also got these headbands that I made um, and they are for sale on my Depop shop for $8 Canadian each and there's a pink and a blue so I'm really happy with these and I think they're great and they just add a little bit of spice to your hair. Anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe during quarantine. Go outside. Yes, I know I'm saying it. Just, just go outside. Breathe in some air. Get that vitamin and yeah, ciao! <laughs>